Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jessie and today we are doing my September TBR. And usually, if you've been watching my channel since the beginning of the year, I've been doing a roll the dice game every month to help me choose the books for my TBR. However, this month is a little different because I have a lot of buddy reads going on, a lot of things I wanna be doing this month and participating in. So I'm not going to be doing my roll the dice game like usual, which does bum me out a little bit, but I'm so excited for the books that I am reading this month that I can't wait to share them with you guys. And there are a couple of other spots open for other books to select. So for those books to help me select this month, I'm going to use my dogs. <laughs> so you may be wondering, how am I, how am I gonna use my dogs? Uh, so I found this idea off of, I believe it's Cody's Book Corner. I'm gonna link her channel down below because she has such a fun TBR game that she does every month. And she has this prompt where she lets her pets pick out the book that she's going to select. So I'm gonna choose three different books, put a dog treat on top of each book and let my dogs pick out which treat they want and whichever treat they go to first is going to be the one that I read. So I'm going to do it with both my dogs. So you're going to see my dogs in this video, which will be fun. So we'll see which ones they pick out. So let's talk about the ones that I know I have to read for sure. And I'm going to start with the big one because if you don't know, I do run a sci-fi fantasy book club on YouTube called Shelf Space. And this month we are reading The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter, which I am so excited about. I've seen a lot of reviews out there for this particular book, some very positive, some not so much. So I'm very curious to see which side of the spectrum of reviews I land on. I have high hopes though. I hope I love this. And it just sounds really cool, very military fantasy. It says that one in every hundred men have the power to like transform into these muscular like beasts. And then one in every 2000 women have the power to call down dragons. It just sounds like it's a really cool like African inspired fantasy world. So I'm hoping I love it. It has like all the ingredients that I love. So we will see, but this will be my first pick for the month. And then also for my book club, we're doing an optional buddy read. A couple of us were in the Discord chatting about uh, The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. And a lot of us haven't read it in our Discord server. I mean, we're like, it'd be really fun to read it all together. So we're just kind of having an unofficial book club buddy read for The Poppy War. So if you want to join, the Discord server will be linked down below. But I'm really excited for this one as well. It's gotten so much hype. So I'm really, really excited to be reading it. And I know that it has a lot of mixed reviews as well. So I'm just curious. I'm so curious to like be in on these discussions happening around these books and see which side of the reviews I fall on. So um, again, I'm cautiously optimistic. This is another kind of like wartime fantasy that's based on actual historical events, I believe. So I don't know. I just, I have good feelings about this one and I'm, I'm really hoping I love it. And then finally, the last buddy read I have is with my buddy Alan over at the Library of Alexandria, whose channel I will link down below. He and I are both buddy reading Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks this month, which I am so, so excited for. Elle is such a delight here on the booktube community. She is one of the most genuine and kind people I've met on this community, and I want to read her book so, so bad. It sounds like it's a very political fantasy, very epic in nature. I know that it's going to be an epic series, so I'm just so excited because it sounds like what I love in fantasy. I love political intrigue. I love a big cast of characters. I love warring kingdoms, like all these things. So, and this cover is stunning. So I'm just so excited to be reading her book, especially since I'm buddy reading with Alan. We're going to have fun with this one. So very excited. Again, if you want to join us, the Discord server is down below. I'm also going to be doing a Stormlight Archive reread in preparation for Rhythm of War coming out in November. So I had actually read Way of Kings probably three or four years ago at this point. I don't totally remember, but there's so many details I've probably forgotten at this point that I really want to give it a reread so it's fresh in my mind for the fourth book. And so I've started Way of Kings already. Um, you can see I'm already starting to tab it up because I just love this series so much. It's my favorite of all time. It's like I'm back home reading these pages. I love it so much. So I, 
I'm already loving Kaladin. Shallan, I've forgotten that she doesn't have quite the most exciting start, but I know where she ends up, so I'm excited to like watch her get there again, uh, knowing what I know now about her story and everything. It's just so good. It's so good. It's so much fun. I'm picking up on so much more like that prologue. Ooh, like I'm definitely picking up on so much more now than I had the first time around. And it's just, it's so much fun doing a reread. So that's also going to be a priority for this month is finishing Way of Kings. And finally, finally, I am participating in my first readathon here on BookTube and I'm so excited about it. Booked and Busy, Erin over at Booked and Busy, she is hosting a readathon called the Royal Readathon. And I'm gonna link all the information for it down below, her announcement video, the dates, because I am so excited to be participating participating, especially when I saw the group pick. I've been wanting to read this book for a while, and the group book for that readathon is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This one has gotten so much love recently. It's a very new release. YA fantasy, enemies to lovers, badass female character. I'm just so excited about this. So I'm really, really excited to be participating in the readathon. And I do plan on doing a dedicated TBR video right before it so that you can see how I'm kind of fitting in each of the different prompts. And then I'm also gonna do a vlog. So I'll be vlogging my reading for that week um, for the Royal Readathon. So if you want to participate, all the information for it will be linked down below. I'm so, so excited that this is gonna be my first readathon. So we'll see how it goes. Those are the books that I know I have to read this month for sure. So I think I can fit in maybe like two more. I don't want to like overdo it. So I'm going to put two more on my TBR and those are the ones that my dogs will pick out for me. So let's go ahead and cut to my dogs picking out my books. That was fun. Um, I loved doing that with my dogs. So first, my, my dogs picked out Baptism of Fire by Andrzej Sapkowski, the third book in the Witcher series, but the fifth one in the overall series because I read the two short story collections. So ah, I'm going to talk about The Witcher more in my wrap up. Uh, next video. So I don't want to like say too much because this is just a TBR video, not a review video. <laughs> but I have mixed feelings on this series so far and I'm excited to continue on because I really, really love the main cast of characters. But I just have mixed feelings and I will talk a little bit more about it in my next video. But I'm excited, but I'm cautiously going into this hoping that it's better than Time of Contempt because Time of Contempt was my least favorite in the series so far. So hopefully, hopefully I love this one. I'm I'm curious to see if it like gets better. <laughs> and then finally, the last book that I'm putting on my TBR for now <laughs> is going to be Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. So I listened to the audiobook for The Blade itself a couple months ago and loved, loved the narrator so much. He's really brought the characters to life in a way that I just didn't connect with as well physically reading the book the first time around. So I'm definitely going to be picking up the audiobook for this one and maybe physically reading it alongside. But I'm really excited to continue on, especially because of Glockta. I've heard Glockta's in this book a lot, particularly. So I'm really excited because he's one of my favorite characters. I just love how morally gray and dark everything is in this series so far. So I'm curious to see where it goes and what's going to happen to these characters. Those are the books that I'm reading for now in September. And again, I will do an updated TBR kind of in the middle of the month for Royal Readathon. So what are you all picking up? What are you most excited to pick up this month? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you see any that you're also going to be reading this month? Let me know that as well. Today's booktuber shout out is going to go to It's a Hardback Life. I love his channel. I love his wrap ups. He's reading really awesome books, like all of my favorite books he's reading right now. And it's so much fun to hear all of his thoughts on the 
these books. I feel like we have very similar tastes, which is probably why I love his wrap up so much. So definitely go check out his channel, show it some love. I personally love it and can't recommend it enough. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time, bye.